Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. We were doing circles from ML Agrawal. We finished with 15.1 and 15.2. Today we'll start with exercise 15.3 which is based on tangent and second properties of a circle. I've explained all the properties and theorem in the previous video. You can see the link in the description box. Okay. Before doing the sums, we should know all the properties and theorem properly. Let us look at the first sum, exercise 15.3. Find the length of the tangent drawn to a circle of radius 3 cm from a point distant 5 cm from the center. So suppose this is a circle, okay, and this is the center. You have a point which is at a distance of 5 cm from the center, okay. And the radius of this circle is 3 cm. We need to find the length of the tangent from the point A. Now suppose we draw a tangent from the point A. Okay, A, P. This is the length of the tangent. Join O, P. So O, P is the radius, isn't it? This is 3 cm. Look carefully. And we know the tangent and the radius are perpendicular to each other. Yeah, the point P, be careful. The radius at the point P, if you draw on the tangent, then that is perpendicular, which means this is 90 degree. This is your 5 centimeter. Now, OPA is a right angle triangle. Triangle OPA is a right angle triangle with OA as a hypotenuse. So, Pythagoras theorem OA square is OP square plus AP square. Hypotenuse square is base square plus perpendicular square. Now we'll just solve it. So 5 square is 3 square plus AP square. So 25 equals to 9 plus AP square, which means AP square will be 25 minus 9. That's 16. So AP will be plus minus 4. Now we need to take positive value because length cannot be negative. So AP is your 4 centimeter. So the length of the tangent is 4 centimeter. Done. This was pretty easy, okay? We just need to know that the tangent and the radius are perpendicular to each other. Yeah, the radius at the point where the line touches the circle. Where the tangent touches the circle. Now let us look at number 2. Now look at number 2. A point P is at a distance 13 cm from the center C of a circle and PT is the tangent to the given circle. If PT equals to 12 cm, find the radius. Look, we'll first draw the diagram. Okay, this is the center C. A point P is at a distance of 13 cm from the center. So, this point, suppose P, CP is 13 cm. They have told. And PT is the tangent to the given circle. If PT is 12, so we'll draw a tangent. Okay. This is PT and the length of PT they have given as 12 centimeter. Find the radius. Very easy. Similar fashion. Look over here. Pythagoras theorem. We'll join CT. So this becomes the radius and the radii. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Yes or no? If you draw a tangent at a point T and from the point T we are drawing a radius. Then the radius is perpendicular. And they have given PT as 12 cm and CP as 13 cm. This is 90 degree. Pythagoras theorem. CP square, hypotenuse square is base square plus perpendicular square. Remember, just substitute the value. 13 square is CT, we don't know, that's the radius. PT is 12 square. This is 169 equals to CT square plus 144. 169 minus 144. 25 equals to CT square. It means CT equals to plus minus root 25 plus plus minus 5. So we'll take the positive value only because the negative value is not possible. So the radius in this case is 5 centimeter. That just only one knowledge that if you draw a tangent at the point, that if from the point if you draw a radius, then they are perpendicular to each other. Done. Now let us look at number 3. Now look at number 3. 
the tangent to a circle of radius 6 cm from external point P is of length 8 cm, PP is 8. Calculate the distance of P from, from the nearest point of the circle. From the nearest point of the circle. But this point, I believe. C. Calculate the distance of P from the nearest point of the circle. Try to understand, okay? Now, they have not asked CP. They have, suppose this is D. They have asked DP. Now, we know this is 90 degree. I told you. If there is a tangent and the tangent touches a circle at a point and from that point if you draw the radius and the radius and tangent are par, uh, perpendicular. So, again, in triangle APC, this is the hypotenuse. So, PC square is AP square plus AC square. The side opposite to 90 degrees is your hypotenuse. So, PC square is AP is 8 square. This is 6 square plus 64 plus 36. That's 100. Very simple. So, PC square. So, PC will be what? Plus minus root 100. That's plus minus 10. We'll take positive only. Because length cannot be negative. So, PC is 10. Now, PC is 10. So, PC is nothing but PD plus CD. Now, 10 equals to PD, we don't know. And CD, if you look carefully, is 6. Because that's the radius from the center, any point of the circumference. If you join, that becomes a radius. So, 6. So, PD is 4 centimeter. 10 minus 6 is 4. Pretty simple, okay? Chal. We look at number 4 now. We look at number 4. Two concentric circles are of radius 13 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Find the length of the chord of the outer circle which touched the inner circle. Touches the inner circle. See, you have concentric circle. Concentric circle means circle having the same center. Now, there is a chord for the outer circle which just touches the inner circle. So, for the inner circle, it is a tangent. For the outer circle, it is a chord. Now, they need the length of this chord AB. This is O. Okay? Now, the inner circle has the radius 5 cm and the outer circle has a radius 13 centimeter they have given this okay 5 and 13 now we know just look over here they want the length of ab suppose this is p so we know if ab is a tangent to the circle the inner circle at p and from p we draw the radius then the tangent and the circle are perpendicular to each other yes or no sure then in triangle, just look carefully, in triangle OPB, OP square, B square plus PB square, perpendicular square. This one is the hypotenuse equals to OB square. Pythagoras theorem, the side opposite to 90 degrees, your hypotenuse. OP is 5 square plus PB square is equal to 13 square. So PB square is 169, 5 square is 25, minus 125, that's 144. So, PB will be plus minus root 144. That's plus minus 12. We'll take the positive value. So, it's 12 centimeter. Done. This is the length of PB. Be careful. Now, in class 9, we did that. See, OP is perpendicular on AB. AB is the chord. Remember the chord properties in class 9? If you have a circle, if this is your chord, and from the center, you drop a perpendicular, then the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. Same logic, OP is perpendicular to AB, which means AP equals to PB equals to 12 centimeter, which means AB is 2 into 12. That's 24 centimeter done. This is from class 9. From the center, if you drop a perpendicular on a chord, then the chord is bisected. AP equals to PB. Done. This is 12. This is 12. So, the length of the chord is 24 centimeter. This was number 4. Chuck, we look at number 5. We look at number 5. Two circle of radii 5 centimeter and 2.8 centimeter, 2.8 centimeter, touch each other. Find the distance between the centers if they touch externally and internally. Look carefully. So, we have two circles. This is my circle 1. This is my circle 2. 
First case I am taking when they touch externally. This is the point of contact P. C1, C2, the centers. Okay. Now when you join the centers, remember one thing. The point of contact and the centers lie on the same straight line. It's a straight line. Which means this is 5 centimeter. This is 2.8 centimeter. They are given radius, radius. So what is the distance between the centers? 5 plus 2.8 plus 7.8 centimeter. Done. Now when they touch internally. Then again the same logic. Look. This is C2. Suppose C1 is over here. P is the point of contact. Then again it lies in the same straight line. The bigger radius is 5 and the smallest 2.8. So C1, C2 is 5 minus 2.8 plus 2.2 centimeter. You can see the diagram. This hole was 5. This from here to here was 2.8. So how much is this thing? How much is this? 5 minus 2.8. That's 2.2 centimeter. We need to remember that the point of contact and the centers of the circle lie on the same straight line. Done. Let us do number 6. Now look at number 6. This is part A. This is part B. 6 part A says in figure 1 given below triangle ABC is circumscribed which means the three side touches the circle. Okay. Find X. And in figure 2 given below, quadrilateral ABCD is circumscribed. Find X same. The circle touches the four sides of the quadrilateral. First of all, look over here. This is given to us. BP is 6. AP is 4. AC is 12. We need to find BC. That's X. We have done. From an external point, if you draw, you can draw two tangent. Okay. And the length of both the tangents are same? Yes or no? So from B, if I am drawing two tangents, B, P and B, R, their lengths will be same? Yes or no? Because they are from the same external point. Length of two tangents from one external point is same. AP equals to AQ over here. So, this is 6 cm. So this length is 6 cm done. B, R is 6. Now look. This entire is 12. AP is 4. So AP and AQ is same. Same logic from A. We are drawing two tangent. AP equals to AQ. That's 4 centimeter. So this is 4 centimeter. So what is QC? 12 minus 4. QC is 12 minus 4. That's 8 centimeter. Yes or no? That. Now see. From C we are drawing two tangents. CQ and CR. Both will be same. This is 8. This is 8. Yes or no? Tangent from an external point. If two tangents are drawn from external point, the length of the two tangents are same. That logic. CQ and CR. These are the length of the tangents. They will be equal. So this is 8 centimeter. What is X? If you look at the formula, 6. Uh, if you look at the figure, 6 plus 8. That's 14 centimeter. The length of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. Two tangents can be drawn. They are of equal length. CR equals to CQ. AQ equals to AP. BR equals to BP. Same logic over here. Look carefully. CR and CS will be same. 3 cm. Look carefully. This is 3. This will be 3 because tangent from one point. Okay. The two tangents will be of equal length. Now, this entire CB is 7. So what is BS? This distance. This is known. CS is 3 cm. So what is BS? BS will be 7 minus 3. That's quite logical. That's 4 cm. Now BS equals to BP. Look carefully. Same logic. BS and BP will be of equal length. Tangent from one external point. So this is 4 cm. AQ and AP is same. AQ equals to AP. That's 5 cm. Same logic. This is 5. So what is X? 5 plus 4. That's 9 cm. That's my answer. 
tangent if this is a circle this is a point you can draw two tangent and the length of both the tangents op and oq will be same okay this was a theorem we already proved it in the previous uh, lecture you can see so in this video we'll keep it till here in the next video we'll see the rest of the sums till then take care and be safe and if you like the video do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.